Okay, my love. So this is something new that I'm bringing to you guys. And it is client's testimonial for emotional healing. Okay. I want to put a couple of screenshots on here. Boom, boom, pow. There, 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 there. Boom, boom. And um, I just want to briefly talk about um a few of my clients. Um, now with the first one, um, she's been coming to me for about two to three years now. Okay. And when she first came to me, um, I was repeatedly telling her the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. Till it got to a point where she was like, "Well, you are always telling me this same thing," and she was like, "Well." You know, I'm applying it, and um, no matter of fact, this one did not say that. She was like, you keep telling me certain things, certain things. So she was like, basically, baby, I just need to work on it, okay? So basically, she did take initiative that even though I was telling her the same thing, she was not doing her inner work. And it came a point in time where she, she got serious with her emotional healing, her shadow work, her spiritual journey, and she's now transform, transforming, okay? Baby girl is blossoming. She's shining so fucking bright right now, and I love it for us. I love that for her, baby. Yes. Now, with this second one, y'all, she been coming to me for the last year, and it's been like pulling the hair out of my head quick incident when the client first came to me i did a reading for the client um she didn't pay but i felt her spirit and i felt like she needed now if i feel your spirit and i feel like you need you know some type of work done whether it's rituals or whatever or you just need a reading then i'm just going to do it for you um yes i do this for pay because i'm good at what i do so i expect to get paid but a lot of the time, spirit just guide me. You know, if you come to me and I feel like you have the right spirit and I feel like you have the intent and I feel like you're serious about changing and getting yourself together. So, yeah, I don't mind doing work for people that are in need. But sometimes people want to free stuff and they do need it, but they know they're not going to do what it is to, you know, make change. Long story short, that was this type of client, okay? You know, I had the right intention, but obviously at first she did it and it showed in the end. But in the end, it was successful transformation or it's a it's in is in transition now. But she came to me, I did a reading for her, and while I was doing the reading, she was just like, you know, um, um uh, that's not right, that's not my energy, um, I'm not in a relationship. You know, basically everything I was saying, she was like, nah, that's not right. That's not right. Okay, so in the middle of the reading, she basically break down and she tell me the whole rundown of what's going on, okay? She tell me that she's in a relationship with an older person. The person is taking care of her. She's not sexually attracted to that person. So she's cheating with somebody else that's married. So everything I said was accurate, but she was just, she didn't want to really you know, accept what I was saying. Cause she was just like, I'm not in a relationship. So no, he not cheating. No, I'm not cheating. But yet turned around and ran that scenario down to me. And I'm looking at her like, dang, I mean, that's basically everything I just said, you know, is I don't know exactly who as well. You cheating, he cheating, whatever the case may be. But I'm telling you, it's some cheating involved because I see third parties, you know what I'm saying? Just giving her the rundown. And I just looked at her and I was just like, we did all that for nothing just for you to tell me the same thing I was just telling you. And she was like, nah, it's not right because he not cheating on me. I'm cheating on him. And I was like, well, why you just ain't put the energy to where it goes? So y'all, long story short, it was just, it was a headache. And y'all, I did this. I went half long reading for free. My reading. And ever since then, y'all, I done tightened up on my readings. They be 20 to 30 minutes. The only one that's long, that's like an hour and a half, is the full reading. The rest of them, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. You won't catch me like that again, slipping. I'm doing all this channeling energy just for you to say it's not right. And at the end, you say it is right. And this the kicker, y'all. She didn't want to know about the person who she was with. Because she said that wasn't in a relationship. The dude was just taking care of her. But you're, you're in a connection with this person. And I, she wanted to know about the person that she was cheating on her person with that was married. 
she want to know, you know, what he had going on. And I'm looking at her like, I don't need to tell you what he got going on because you know what he got going on, baby. He has a wife. So you know that you're the third will and you know he's not leaving his wife for you. I mean, mm, that's right there, black and white. I don't have to really say anything about it. Then she got mad at me and she disappeared for a couple of months and then popped back up and was like, oh my God, you were so right, queen. He won't leave his wife for me, this and that. And I'm like, it took for you to, what well, it took for the situation to unfold before your eyes. And because it unfolded before your eyes, it did more damage. So you rather it do more damage instead of me being your spiritual advisor. And I see this towel coming and I'm trying to redirect you, okay? Or at least I'm trying to get you on stable ground. So when, when it do happen, because sometimes you can't really move from certain situations because you have to go through it because it's a lesson that you have to learn because you're repeatedly doing the same cycle, you know? So sometimes you can't move directly, but you can get ready, emotionally ready, physically ready for the situation that's coming at hand. Okay, that's why you're going to a spiritual advisor to see how you need to navigate through this thing here called life. I'm just saying, you know, so the simple fact that she was rude to me, nasty to me, y'all. I didn't know what I was talking about. I was wrong just to come back to me a couple of months later and tell me she was going through all this turmoil because of what happened. The person that was taking care of her, that loved her dearly, that she wasn't sexually attracted to, that she was cheating on, left her. And the other dude ended up going, he ended up playing him and her and the wife back and forth, back and forth for a little while. So the wife got involved and her and the wife got into it. So now she got a battery charge and this and that. You know, the dude done got a restraint order on, on her and everything. And they still mess around with each other. And she just going through so much, you know, stuff that I feel like, I feel like some of the stuff in her situation, she could have avoided. She could have avoided the situation altogether because she was the one that was doing the wrongdoing, okay? She could have rewrote her karma right there if she had to just stop dead in her tracks and left the dude alone and went on by her business. She she could have stopped all of in the tracks. But unfortunately, a lot of people have a lot of emotional problems because they don't know what love is. At first, I tell y'all all the time, firstly, you have to love yourself before you can love on anybody else. That's that's the key. That is the key. And most people, they, they can't fathom loving yourself. And they have to understand if you can't love yourself and treat yourself with decency and respect, how are you going to do that to somebody else? Because it starts with you. The way you treat yourself, that's how you're going to treat anybody else. The way you love yourself, that's how you're going to love anybody else. And if you love other people better than you're loving yourself, what is the fuck wrong? We need to do some self-evaluation or by your waiting and figure out what's going on emotionally. What's what's going on? What happened in your childhood that traumatized you? What did you see? What did you hear? Who was around you? You know, who was the people that you was looking up to? We need to we need to dive deep because we need to figure out what's going on, baby. Because something ain't something's not working. How it's supposed to be working for you. And if it's been working for you up to this point, yeah, fine. But now it's time for you to redirect. Because at some point, Lord, stuff have to come to the side. You know, the little girl would then have to go to the side. And how your stuff has to come. That adult has to come out. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't even know how to go within and nurture that inner inner goddess, as I call it, that inner child. They don't know how to go within to nurture her so that they can divert over to moving with a higher self, vibrate on a higher vibration. If y'all hear some screaming and hollering in the background, those are my kids. They're running around playing. <laughs> I should have recorded this when they were asleep, taking their nap. 
but I was taking a nap with them, and now I'm recording after they woke up. So don't mind it. Yeah, I know I do have it. So that's what I just wanted to touch this on. And every month I will be coming to you guys and just giving you guys a success story from a client. Okay. All right. Love and light. Talk to you next time.